What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Let me start by saying I wish everybody <clears throat> a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy Holidays, Feliz Navidad, and all of the above. You know, um... The game's over, you know, I, I'm trying to keep my cool, trying not to get upset, <clears throat> about to lose my voice, let me see if I've got a soda water here to <clears throat> wet my whistle, I just feel like I'm about to cough and choke on this, um, <clears throat> I hate to I hate to say what I'm about to say, but I have to say what I'm about to say. This sucks. This is freaking ridiculous. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what we can do about this. You know, shout out to my buddy Greg. Uh, I'm going to give you a quote here from Greg. He said, any Cowboy fan that points at Dak and says he's the reason we lost should have their Cowboys fan card ripped from their hands. Shaking my damn head. And that's how I feel. You know, listening to the trolls and the people, Dak's not the one. Just get rid of Dak. Oh, I'm sorry, but guess what? That's not helping the bullshit that we get right now. Micah Parsons has talked about holds. Now, I, you know, I know if you hate the Cowboys, you're not going to give them any quarter. But if you look at the pitcher... That's right in front of there. You're honestly going to tell me that 35 quarters, 35 quarters has been the last time. That's almost nine games since a holding call was called on an offensive lineman against Micah Parsons. It is so bad and so egregious. I'm hoping I'm speaking these things right. My wife hasn't corrected me yet, so I guess the words are coming out okay. That or she's just not listening to me. But it's so egregious. If you are an offensive lineman and you are facing Micah Parsons, then you know that you've got a really good chance of getting away with holding. That if you can't beat him straight up, don't worry. Wrap her arm around his neck. Go hands to his face. Pull him from behind. You see the thumbnail here. Micah Parsons is being held by not one but two guys at the same time. And that doesn't go with just the Dallas Cowboys defense. Take a look. CeeDee Lamb's crack for everybody to see. Are you telling me that's not holding, that he's literally stuck his finger into his pants and is holding his pants out that his butt is showing? You're going to tell me that's not holding? That's not illegal contact? That's not pass interference? I don't know if it's, you know, we all know this. We all see this. We all know this. Micah Parsons puts it out there. Everybody knows this. I don't know if Micah Parsons is doing more damage by putting it to light and constantly saying things about it. Because typically, when you complain about something to the people that are doing it, they're not going to turn around and say, oh, yeah, I've been, not been missing this. I'm doing bad things. They're not going to give you any breaks. And that's exactly where we are right now with the Cowboys. I don't know if the NFL realizes that if the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, there's less to talk about. But there's no way in the world that this officiating can be this bad. You can look at Damone Clark was literally tackled. You can look at this over and over and over again, and then they turn around and a ticky-tack hit by Micah Parsons. So let me see if I get this straight. It's okay to be open season, to go hands to the face to Micah Parsons. It's okay to put an arm around his neck from behind. 
it's okay to literally grab him on the back from behind and ride him on the back as he did when he went through and he sacked Jalen Hurts. It's okay if you're an offensive lineman to do that. But he didn't take two steps when he hit Tua. He didn't take him to the ground. Up. Oh, too rough. Come on, man. I'm going to say that the Cowboys did an admirable job on the road. I know it hurts to lose on Christmas Eve. It sucks. It sucks. But for the Cowboys to go against Tariq Hill, the highest scoring offense in football, right? And hold them to 22 points. To hold them to 22 points. A team that scored 70 against what may be a playoff team here in Denver. Playing against the Miami Dolphins on the road and the officials, they didn't actually do that bad. There were a couple of plays that you wish were different. The Hunter Lipke fumble on the goal line. The Tony Pollard, instead of Tony Pollard cutting it back inside there, the play before, maybe he stayed outside. You wish you had those plays back. You wish you had gotten the calls on some of these plays. It seemed like every time we got something going, there's always a penalty that you look at and say, was that really? And then you turn around and you look and say, this truly is a penalty. That one, uh, kind of ticky tack. All I ask is this. If you're going to call ticky tack penalties, call it both ways. Because the problem is it's not. I don't know where we go here. We got, a home game, which we've been great at at home. We've got the extra power of Jimmy Johnson. And the reality is, is we need the Eagles to lose one game. If we can beat the Lions and beat the Commanders, we still have a chance at the division. <sighs> this sucks. This freaking sucks. I don't know how you win when you constantly have these calls like this going against you. I honestly just don't know. It sucks. Sucks so bad here. I'm trying to do some work here at the Red Brick House just to get my mind off of it. Peace out, good people.